if you have a problem with the plumbing, that's heart attack, that's angina. But as a result of that, the muscle may become very, very unhappy about life or death, and the electrical activation of that bit of muscle may go wrong. And if that happens, you're typically dead in about six to eight seconds. That's how long it'll take. So that's a cardiac arrest. That's it. Six that's to your eight heart. seconds. Yeah, I mean that. That's how long it'll take. If, if you go into what we would call VF, so ventricular fibrillation. So if you block an artery and make the muscle ischemic, it won't like it, and there's a decent chance that you'll go into a nasty rhythm disturbance. The people that are just found dead. Mm. Yeah, that's VF, and that's that's six that's to eight a, seconds, and they're that, gone. That, well, yeah, and <laughs> unless so, if if you die. If you happen, if it happened to yeah. you right now, yeah. good CPR, yeah. being fit, so the rest of your body has the you know the reserve to cope with it, but ultimately good CPR, and eventually an ambulance man or someone with a defibrillator coming in and giving you an electric shock and putting your heart back to normal rhythm, that's what saves your life. But left untreated, you know, you black out after six seconds, and ultimately, unless there's anyone around you with the skill set to save you, you're dead. Defibs are so important, in there. Yeah, I've got a little statistic here on that, by the way. I might share. I love it. Um, yeah, so it. I think 30,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests happen each year in the UK. Yeah. And the yeah, to Ed's point, the survival rate is, is less than one in 10. Oh, it's, yeah, it, it is less than 10%. It is awful. Yeah. Is there any way to fix that? Education. Um, so uh, public education. <clears throat> but ultimately, you've, you've got to be found, haven't you? You know, I, I have patients who whose life have been saved because they made a noise upstairs when they had their cardiac arrest. And their relative wondered what on earth had happened, ran upstairs and gave him CPR and called an ambulance. Now, if, they, if that had happened while they'd been sitting on the bed and they slumped back, they wouldn't have been found, they'd be dead. So, you know luck but you have to have a relative you have to have someone around who knows to get on the chest do a bit of chest pumps and call an ambulance really very quickly yeah. okay i think so, it's first aid isn't it yeah so yeah. so early cpr is absolutely key then oh yeah yeah um and and just from the, the, the i guess the individual who may suffer this fate from their perspective so we've kind of just <laughs> just to I just want to make this like a really clear message to people as a bit of a takeaway because we've talked about obviously um Angina, which is like the, the sort of pain, the chest pain, like the um, heart failure, and all these things to some extent are a little bit of a sort of a build up to that happening. Yeah. So obviously, when that happens, you've just explained the, the outcome and, and scenario around that. But prior to that happening, other key watch out things like breathlessness, chest pain. Yeah. Like what what should people be looking out from, and how they should how should they be reacting to to symptoms to avoid getting to that point? So generally, I would say, look, if you can't walk as far as you could six months ago, and your symptom that prevents you from doing it is worsening shortness of breath, or chest pain, or chest you know, we say pain as a doctor. I'm always asking chest pain. The patient says, oh, it wasn't really pain so much as a sort of a heavy feeling or like an ache in my chest. You know, we just say chest pain. But it feels like it's a tight feeling, a heavy feeling in the chest. If you're getting any of these symptoms when you're walking around, and in hindsight, you weren't getting them a few months back, that's a warning sign. That, that means that you've probably got an underlying heart condition that's chronic, that's on a sort of a slow burner and that may be left unchecked. You'll get to the age of 100 and get run over by a bus. But it could be a sign that you've got some plaque in your arteries and all it takes is, you know, bad luck, bad news, whatever, for that plaque to rupture. That's what causes the heart attack. Yeah. And then you're in trouble. <laughs>